So while we're about to get the show on the road, we got um, St. Croix veterans. We'll be going up against South Florida Lions. And we're having a late start because of the rain earlier today, this morning. So it will be Kenora Wright and Joey Pierre to start the inning for Florida Lions. So far, the weather turns out to be very good. The sun is shining. As they would say, it's, um, it's pretty warm. But um, we're talking about cricket, lovely cricket. We played cricket in the hot sun. The first ball of the day. Down the leg and it could go run away for four. Mr. Perron, how you doing? Roger Tracy. Isua. Bone Levy. Thanks for watching. Wow, that one gets some late swing. Beats Ken Wright outside the off stump. That one, he swings it over third man and one bounce in the fence for four. Behind the stumps is our own Myrtle Grove keeper, Lesman. Can I White plays that one again? Um, square of the wicket for four. Beautiful shot by Ken White. So easy on his feet and slap it past the two fielder. Backward a square and just forward a square and went to the fence for four. Score moves to 13. And now they're tweaking the field just a little. So the bowler decided that he will be bowling, he'll be concentrating on the offside, so we outside the off stump, umpire signals wide. After this the rain this morning it turns out to be a very good day so far and that's what we've been praying for that one is down the leg and they um, take a single also so they picks up two wide signal by the umpire it will be or it should be a very exciting weekend we got four teams will be competing for the trophy all the way up to Monday evening 
Ken Wright plays that in the covers, should just get a single. So I must um, make some correction. Joey Pierre was the one who had um, played that one in the covers as they had crossed for that um, wide earlier. That one Ken Wright flicks it off his leg for four. That one started out on the off stump and it um, swings in. But Ken Wright was Got his eyes on the ball until it hits the the bat. Flicks it off his leg for four. Mr. Max, Maxi Max, are you doing? I must say, if you are in the vicinity of um, Fort Lauderdale, Bell Glade, Kendall, Port St. Lucie, Orlando, you can make your way down here to Fort Lauderdale at Sports Park. It's the end of the first over, the score is 21 without loss. I guess they'll be bowling all half of the over from the from one end then they will turn around and take the other half on the on the other end just to speed up the game it's Phil Davis will be bowling the second over to Joey Pierre down the leg, Joey Pierce swings and misses, umpire signals are wide. Mr. Johnson, good morning. That's another wide signal by the umpire outside the off stump. Umpire Max Dyer gave us that eagle arm, reaches out. That's another short ball over the shoulder. Umpire signaled one for the over. That one went over the leg stump. The signals just um to the bowler that's that's it one for the over and joy player slash that one over covers for four That when he plays it's clear of the wicket, it was misfield but was backed up by the sweeper. Picks up a single.
That one was hit one bounce by Ken Wright. Square of the wicket for four. That one was it down to Long on. And they were able to pick up two. I must wish Mr. Johnson and his crew down there in Texas for the minor league competition at Peer Review. Wow, that was a good ball. That was a good bouncer by Davis. Passed just over the shoulder of Ken Wright. So the end of the second over. Again, I go back to um, the minor league crew who is um, up in Texas for the weekend. They should be playing three games. I wish them all the best. Hope they get um, climatized real soon. Just a slightly different kind of weather. It's just about an uh, hour different from here in South Florida. You're welcome, sir. So it will be starting up the third over. As the bowler asks the keeper to stand up close, so you got to make some adjustment. Put his helmet on. I would think with that um, adjustment, they would um, ask for a fine leg or a, a deep third man, but obviously, they haven't done that as yet. that um, Lesman would have made that adjustment because he played on this field several times. Well, I guess he's going to give the bowler the benefit from whatever field he would like to bowl to. That one was gently played by Joey Pierre down to Long on for a single. Again, I must remind you that um, we're here at the Cricket Festival, South Florida Lions Cricket Festival at Lauderdale Park Sports Park, and that one was hit wide. Down to Cow Corner, wide of the fielder, down to Cow Corner for four. The score rushed to 39. 39 for without loss. Ken Wright and Joey Peer, who is at the crease. That was a good ball. Ken Wright was sporting the number 25. Mr. Steven, how you doing? That's another good ball. Ken Wright just, um, I would say lazily played that one, fielded by the keeper. That's another good ball. A 
and I know with that first ball, with that first four by Ken Wright, he's gonna get a little frustrated. But I hope, okay, so it's end of the over. That was a good over. We're playing um, 20, 20 overs each. I must double check to see if there was any changes. If the over was, um, was cut because of the rain earlier of the late start. So I will find that out in just a few minutes. I'm on the opposite side of the ground. So all that information is not as close as um, it could be. But the bottom line of all of this, we're having fun so far. And it's a beautiful day at the moment. There are some clouds above, but um, nothing to worry now. The sun is shining and um, we're in for a good day. And uh, not only a good day, but um, a good weekend. It's a, it's a new bowler, from Keith Tyson, who's playing for veterans, St. Croix veterans. Joey plays that one down to Long On, it was fielded, and um, they'll be getting a second run. I could say they cheat a second run. But with Ken Wright at the at the crease, you will always expect the second run. He's a very good runner, but um, with Joy Pierre there, it's like you never know. You just have to be careful because, as they said, one one can't run, and Joy Pierre will tell you to get back. Just kidding, just kidding. That was a good ball played. Just some um, dab it out in the covers. Mr. Morris, how you doing? Joey Player plays that one and passed the third slip, but he was um, half stop and he went recover. He just got um, a single. That one can right pounce on it and um, which is um, a left foot in the air and just tugs it down to mid wicket for four. Square of the wicket. And the score is moving on pretty rapidly.
So while the score moves to 59 without loss, South Florida Lions. You got Ken Wright and Joy Peer who is um, at the crease. Mr. Danny, are we Charan? Are you doing? Hassan Dare. Mr. Adrian Bowes. Thanks for watching. Yes, we're here at um, Lauderdale Sports Park. Weekend of um, cricket, as I say, cricket, lovely cricket. Joy play, plays at one, it could go for four. Yes, it beats the feeler in the fence for four. While the score moves on to six to three. We got St. Croix veterans. Came in last night. They was at the field very early this morning just to get uh, climatized with the weather. And we're also hoping that they did not get jet lag. So at the end of the, should be the seventh over. End of seven over, the score is six to six. Florida Lions, who is at the crease at the moment. So we are having a mix weather at the moment. It's getting cloudy again. There's some dark clouds coming over. But as they say, if the clouds is uh, more to the east, then um, it's possible that um, we may not get the rain at the sports park. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed. As I said, it's um, the rain is blessing coming from above. A change of bowling. Can I just gently play that one back past the bowler? It picks up a single. One Joy Pierce slams it square of the wicket. Was well fielded. No run. That one he turns and it and hit it to the fence for four. Hit it square of the wicket for four. And just to remind you on the international scene, I'll be back after this. Um, just gently play that one back to the bowler. On the international scene, um, West Indies should be starting their first ODI today against <coughs> against Bangladesh. I'm sorry. JP plays that one back past the bowler. And it seems like it run beats the field and run into the fence for four.
and he slapped that one over covers. One bounce in the boundary for four. So at the end of the eight over, the score is 77 without loss. St. Croix, the veterans, up against South Florida Masters, South Florida Lions. Yes, it's a Masters team. And I must remind each and every one that the music in the background is just for entertainment only. We do not have the rights for none of this music. My one Ken Wright plays it back past the bowler for four. My mistake, just for a single. My focus was on the other side of the ground. Joey Pierre plays that one in the covers, beats the fielder, but it was backed up by the man down there on the long off boundary, and they just picked up a single. Ken Wright swings to the leg and um, there was a loud appeal. The is um, showing his um, above his tie that the ball had touched there, but the umpire still said not out. That one was played back to the bowler. At the end of another good over by the veterans. Yes, we're here at Sports Park. Having a good day. You got a mixed cloud. You got some dark clouds that are coming over. It, but um, you got some early showers this morning. Delay the delay the starting of the game.
So at the end of the tent over, I guess I'll be taking a a short water break. The score is um, 90 without loss. So while we're about to resume after the water break, score is 94 at the end of the tent over. We'll be, we'll be bowling the next tent over from the southern end and it will be S. Huggins to start the 11th over. The score is 94 without loss, South Florida Lions. Going up against St. Croix Veterans. I was informed that I should give them a thumbs up for their hot pink. As I said, real men wears pink. So while we start, the first ball of the 11th over. Joe player plays that one in the covers, fielded by the sweeper. He gets a single. Can right plays at one right in the fence for six. As you can see, signaled by the umpire. And that should be Ken Ken Wright's fifty. That one he hits it. Just over long off for four. And Ken Wright is on the go. He plays on this ground quite a lot. A lot of centuries from on this ground. So you pretty much know what it's like. That one he swings and he picks up an, another four. Okay. Go. Ken Wright, who is the leading run scorer in the okay. South Florida League. I'm not getting my cups to get done. So far for the year, I think he's gone over five centuries. That's good batting. Well, I think Joey Pierre going to um, talk to Ken Wright to let him know that, um, okay, enough running is enough running. I will take a single, but I won't take three doubles. Three twos is out of my league. But he seems um, to be 
pretty good. Seems like he's not as um, tired as a lot of people would um, think he, that he would. So we got a, um, the 12th over will be bowled by um, Vitalis. And he'll be bowling to Ken Wright. Ken Wright just um, gently plays that one in the Thirdman area, fielded, just picks up a single. It's a good stop there by the keeper after Joey Pierre had played it straight back to him and um, make a good field. That one plays down to mid wicket, picks up a four. This field, whenever it passes the the fielder. Most of the time they would say then you don't have to run because it's going to be four. was played to a short long off just gets a single so that's um uh, 50 now for joy pier can right hit that one that's going over the fence it's gone it's gone it's gone for six
So that's two there from Joy Pier of the bowling of um, Cornelius. Joy Pier plays it in the same position. In the third man area, picks up a single. And the score is 129 without loss. Ken Wright and Joy Pier at the crease. That one was just dabbed on the leg side. Rushes over there by the keeper. Lesman, no run. So while we got a new bowler from the a takes over from Carly Cornelius, we got Justin. We'll be bowling to Joy. We'll be bowling to Ken Wright. right back to the bowler Wide signal by the umpire. That's another wide signal by the umpire. That one will swing hard and high to mid wickets, gone all the way out the ground for six by Ken Wright.
another one on the leg. And Ken Wright just um, turns it down the leg for four. Score is now rushed to 143 without loss. Ken Wright and Joey Pierre off the crease for Florida Lions up against St. Croix veteran. And he gently plays that in the covers. That was some good feeling there, but the Joey Pierre was in a little bit of trouble but eventually the keeper had uh, missed this, the stumps so Joey Pierre was able to get home safe and that one he should be out caught yes So Joey Pierre has been out, out caught at short mid off. That's short mid on. I'm sorry, my mistake. So Florida Lions had lost their first wicket. Trying to see the batsman always um, is coming in. So the new batsman is Prianto Lenny Gay. Well, join Ken Wright. Score is 144 for one. And Ken Wright advanced down the wicket and plays that one fielded by the bowler. That could be four, yes. Down the leg by Ken Wright for four. That one was here, it could be six, yes. Over the fence for six, down Kaukana by Ken Wright. They push the score to 154 for one. That one was hit over the fence again for four for six by Ken Wright. 
advance down the wicket and slams it over covers for six. Score moves to 160. And Ken Wright is on fire. I must give some praises to the umpires who is officiating the game. Max Dyer and um, Mark Ebanks doing a very good job. You can see on the far side you got the the crew over there. It should be a long day, but an exciting day. And Ken Wright swing that one. Could go for four. But they go for one. Yes, it's now in the fence for four. So far in the over, you got um, two fours and two sixes. That one, he plays that one. He should just get a single, feel it there by down by the long off boundary for a single of the end of the um, and it could be the 15th over. I guess Empire gonna have a discussion. Just waiting to hear the official score on the overs. So it's still Ken Wright who is facing. And he swings that one down the leg, just like he started the over before for four. And Ken Wright has reached his 100. Ken Wright always um, or had opened the inning for South Florida Lions. Yes, they're up against St. Croix veterans. We're here at the Lotto Hill Sports Park Cricket Festival for the weekend. We're playing all the way up till Monday evening. It's another one, and Ken Wright plays that one. He should get another four. Ken Wright is on fire. It should be somewhere of his sixth century um, since the beginning of the year. I can remember I was in a partnership with him in Atlanta, 45 runs opening partnership in Atlanta. And the highlight about that, I'll tell you after this ball. Swings and miss. The highlight of that um, 45 runs opening partnership is um, Ken Wright had made um, 43. And I got one. Yes, one. It was from three balls, but um, I just got one. That one plays square of the wicket. Should go for four. Yes, in the in the fence for four. Ken Wright is on fire.
and he's out without without facing a ball Prianto is run out without facing a ball after at the at the crease for 11 balls is at the non-striker end As you can hear, there's a lot of comment on the around the ground. Why was that single? Why did they try to take that single? It's like knowing that you're going to commit suicide. So at the crease is um, Mark Simpson and luckily for him he will be facing the last ball of the over saying that because Prianta was out for I was out there for 11 balls to Ken Wright and he didn't face the ball that one hits it back past the ball it should be a catch but um, it would miss by the bowler. Mark Simpson's off to a single.
score is now 183 for two. Ken Wright had just been out, caught on the long on boundary. Haven't got his um, official score.
So we got up the crease, um, Mark Simpson and Terry Mills. That should be a wide signal by the umpire. Should be one over after this. Mark just flicks that one down the leg, should picks up a four. And I'm waiting to hear the official score. I was told 193 for, for three. South Florida Lions up against St. Croix Veterans. That's the first game of the day. Got two more games to go. Wow! That one was hit straight back. Can't be any straighter. Hit the mid stump and um, went through the mid and the leg stump and um, they went through for a single. Umpire was um, agile enough to get out the way. That's umpire Mark Max Dyer. I want Tevin Mills hit that one to the covers for four. Beast boat feelers for four. And the score is um, approaching 200. Should have, um, should be just one more over to go. That last over, I think, should be bowled, should be bowling by Phil Davis. Very popular all around here in South Florida. Plays for Tropics United. Another catch. That's a spectator catch. Ken Wright, who made 126, got out um, just some overs ago. So it's Phil Davis. Ball to Mark Simpson. He tried to turn it to the leg. It was. Fielded by the bowler. So will there be two more games for the day after this game? We got Desmond Lewis Masters who is in town. Caribbean Masters. Veteran Masters. On the Lions Masters. It will be a very exciting weekend. If you're anywhere close in the vicinity of um, Florida, come on over. Let's enjoy some good cricket. We're here at the Ladder Hill Sports Park in Fort Lauderdale. Again, I must wish all of the minor league players, hope they have a good weekend. This weekend we'll be loaded with cricket up there in Texas, Fort Lauderdale Lions over there. 
Mark Johnson and the crew. Master David. Wish Elton Tucker Jr. have a good weekend. Orlando Johnson, Adam Sanford, Omari Williams, Dean Morgan, Joval Glenn. Christopher Lamont, Shamari Brown. I know I missed a couple names, but um, just wishing you all have a good weekend. I expect you to win all three games. But if you can't, I'll go with two. That was a beautiful shot in the covers, but it's fielded down there by the sweeper. Terry Mills only get a single. I'd mentioned that um, that was the last over before, which um, this could be the last over. Could be a good over so far for the veterans. And that one, it's over the fence for six by Mark Simpson. Just swings it over to Langhoff. Over the fence for six. And he could be out. No, it's not. That one, he get a top edge, but there's a. He went to the boundary for four. There was a fielder down there at um, third man, but he was unable to cut it off. And the score is 2 11. Again, we should be in the last over. While the wind is picking up quite a bit, the, the clouds are getting much clearer. Very little dark clouds anymore that should be the end of um, South Florida Lions inning score should be 212 which is not official we'll wait for the official figures so while they're walking off for the just compete the half, first half of the game. Okay. 
So the score, as you can hear it on the mic on the far side, it's um, 214 in the 20 over for South Florida Lions. And we should be back in about 10 minutes from now. So stay tuned.
Two others. So while we are just about in the second over, so Florida Lions had made 214 in their 20 overs, and the veterans are now replying. That is a good ball by Thomas, who's bowling the second over. The first over was bowled by Kevin Durand. Kevin Duran is the basketball player, that's right, okay. So it's um, Duran, Duran, Dennis Duran. I know I'll get it very soon. So it's um, Ian Thomas, who is bowling to Elliot Swing and a miss outside the off stump. Elliot and um, Vitalis, who is um, opening the batting for veterans, St. Croix veterans. They are chasing 214 made by South Florida Lions. And after this game, there should be another game coming up very soon. Desmond Lewis Masters in the house, along with Caribbean Masters. Wow, that's a beautiful ball. Got the batsman dancing and still can't get a touch. Beautiful day here at um, Sports Park. We got Mr. Robinson in the house. I won't say Ray. So nice to see Miss Robinson. Wow. I can only say wow. As Jeffrey Dujan would say, you just need a court of varnish on that stump for it to be knocked over. I think it's all about the height of the bowler, Mr. Thomas. Six feet six. A lot of people said he should be playing basketball. But if he walk on that basketball court, he would be look like a midget. Most of those guys are like 6'10, 6 6 But it's cricket, lovely cricket. Here at Ladder Hill, Sports Park. Mr. Arace, how you doing? Drew Ashman. I was asked if um, Fort Lauderdale Lions had um, played their game as yet in Houston. I don't think they had played their game as yet. Of the time when I checked, they did not play their game as yet. So it should be coming up. I was told that the game should be starting at 12.30. They are at um, Peer View and um, they are at Peer View in Texas. The score at the moment is 15 without loss. And it's a new bowler from the it takes over from Ian Thomas, Sylvester Hickey. That was a short ball, and um, the batsman turns, 
swings and misses. I think it was much slower than he expected. But we're having a beautiful day here today at um, Sports Park. The sun is shining ever so often. The clouds come over. But at the moment, it's nothing to worry about. Mr. Rowan, how you doing? Romaine, thanks for watching. Well, while I took my eyes off, there's a run out. Elliot has been run out. So, veterans have lost their first wicket on the run out route. I'm going to go to the 
So Ian Thomas has just picked up his first wicket. Caught by Ken Wright. Only had long off. So while veterans are chasing a total of 214, they have just lost their second wicket. The score is 18, so they are pretty much on the back foot. Open that in the middle of the of the batting lineup. They'll have someone who can make some changes. Let me say hello to Stanio. How are you doing? Yes, we're here at um, Sports Park, Ladder Hill Sports Park in Fort Lauderdale. Fun day of cricket. As I say, cricket, lovely cricket. You got two games we'll be playing after this game. We'll be here tomorrow on Monday. So lots of cricket this weekend. Got Joey Pierre behind the stumps. Ken Wright is tweaking the field. It seems like he's gonna put a slip in. He got a short third man over his um O'Neill Walker. Um cover point is um, Mark Simpson. In the covers, um, it looks like is um is a Prianta. The one is going at um, mid off. Felix, who is that um, long off? Vinton Crawford with a deep square leg. That one was played, it slashed in the covers for four. I yet to get the batsman name. Well, that was a good shot. It was a short ball and it um, just um, hangs in the ear for the batsman to put the bat to that ball. Went into the boundary like a bullet. That should go for four. Trickles right down here on the fence for four. Yeah. Umpire Ibang said. Signal four. Well, the score moves on to 20. 26. Mr. Walker, Gaston Walker, what are you doing? We'll be here all day playing cricket. Come on over. Come and enjoy yourself. That one will get the top edge. And it's fielded on the by third man by Walker. So it's the end of the fourth over, the fifth over. Uh, make that the fourth over. My mistake. And it could be Walker who be could be bowling the next over.
So after that wicket we got um, Lesman who is at the crease and his first ball he hit to the fence for four. Is, um, 31 for 31 for three it should be the end of the the sixth over and it's um Sylvester Icky who is back in the back to bowl Must continue to remind you that um, the music in the background is just for entertainment only. We do not own the rights of none of these music, no copyrights for none of these music. Just for entertainment. We will be here until we're in the evening. There's quite a few more games to be played. Desmond Lewis Masters is in the house. Caribbean Masters in the house. We'll be back tomorrow and Monday. Weekend full of cricket. This competition is gearing up for tour in October to Jamaica. So far, South Florida Lions team is looking very good. 
Need to play a couple more games before October. Together, games together. Not just individual play in the, in the league. That one was played down to mid on, just for a single. over so far from Iki. Emily Davy, are you down? Thanks for watching. Sylvester Iki to continue. Wow, that's a beautiful ball. Batsman swings and misses. Just make that height over the middle stumps. to continue. And if you're wondering why it's they're bowling just from one end, it's 20 overs, they'll be bowling 10 overs from one end, then they switch around and bowl the next 10 from the opposite. So it's O'Neill Walker. That one he could be out caught. Yes. He's out caught by is that Mark Simpson? No, that's Prianto. Down there at um Long on. Just want to make sure that um I've seen the batsman because it was the right hander. <clears throat> so Justin had just been out caught. You can see Lesmano is undressing on the field. Sending off his um, thigh pad.
There's a change of ball in his Priyanta. That one should be wide and it should be gone, run away for four. It's now in the fence for four. Yeah, <laughs> 
I must apologize for that breaking transmission having some technical difficulties here in the park and while we do have that break the fifth wicket that just went down we are in the eight over So that's another wide and it could be four. Yes it is. It's um trickling. Yeah, now it's over the fence for four. Mark. Mark. It's not the fence, it's the line. Five. We get five for that. So while the feeler was um, having a discussion about the the ball crossing the line, he thought it was um, he got hit the fence. And this is another wide, and it's all the way again, and um, trickle, trickle, trickle down, and it hit the fence. And this one, um, I'm going to ask um, So while they're tweaking the field, Mark, you need one more man inside. Yeah. 
Long stop. Score is now 59. 59 for five, and that could be out. Umpire says not out, but it looks good to the shout by the bowler and the keeper. Umpire says not out. So it's that it's the end of that marathon over. <laughs> I think there was like five wides in that over, so we're talking about um just about eleven balls in that over total. Eleven balls that bowled. Score is um fifty-nine for five. Make that sixty for five. There should be in the should be in the ninth over. I'm trying to see um, who is the bowler that will be. It looks like it's um, Sylvester Hickey. So while we are here having a good day here in the park, invite you to come on out. That one is down the leg, umpire signals are wide. Mr. Earl Steven, how are you doing? That one again down the leg. Again, Mr. Steven, I know today is a working day for you. Um, but I'm gonna invite you down tomorrow. Um, I know you should not have any excuse for tomorrow. 
come on down and enjoy some good cricket do I have to say please I think we go way back I don't have to say please come on down and enjoy some good cricket you'll be here all day today all day tomorrow and Monday that one was hit down it should be four yes it's um could be six yes that was end up in the fence he went for six by Lesman. Score moves to 68. 68 for five. St. Croix Veterans is chasing a total of 214 made by South Florida Lions. Ken Wright who made 125. A swing and a miss there by Lesman. I had hesitate to signal whether it's a wide or not. I guess he was um, thinking how oh, wide should he signal that ball. But he had just catch itself and said okay I'll just make it normal. It's so wide. That was a good ball again plays in the covers. So that should be the ninth over. And the score is um, should be like 68. The score was corrected. The score is 72. Mr. Sylvester Icky, who was um, shouting to the camera. I thought he was the bowler, but um, it's not. It will be <clears throat> the veteran, Vinton Crawford Crawford. He enjoy the lifting ball, but I hope he'll be able to run and reach the stumps. And he, in he comes and he bowls. That was a good ball. Flicks off his uh, of the leg down to mid wicket just for a single. Fielded by Prianta. So while the skipper who is um, tweaking the field who is all the way down to Langon, we're able to see the field that it need to be So while we just lost a little communication there, there's the catch that was spilled down on the long off boundary. Went in the fence for four. 
that one again was played back to the bowler by Lesman. Mr. Glenn, how you doing? Thanks for watching. Hope you're also enjoying the holiday weekend, the 4th of July weekend. That one went up in the air and um, Sylvester Icky's under it and he missed it. I know for all due to poor wireless connection your video has been paused consider moving to find a better signal you can end the broadcast I don't want to end it I must apologize for the breaking transmission. We've been having some technical difficulties with the signal. I'm going to ask Mr. Earl Stephen if he can voluntarily provide. A machine that I can get a better signal it's beyond my control at the moment so it's the end of the tent over and the score is 84 for 5 so we will be back in a short while I'll take a, a short break a short water break. We'll be right back. So at the end of the 11th over, just starting the The twelfth over, that's a four in the fence. What's up? What's up? Come on, it's not about it. Don't worry about it. Must apologize for the technical difficulties of the of the signal. Gotcha. So that one. So it could be seems like um, Florida Lions is trying to get the veterans back in the game. That should be four down the leg signal by the umpire wide. score at the moment is 101 for 5 Yeah, Lesman of the crease at the moment along with um, Elliot. It's picking up a few singles. 
I don't think um, Florida Lions mine singles. But they gotta be careful because usually when the singles comes like that, then all of a sudden the batsmen start to time the ball just like that one. Lazman just picks that one up off the off his pad and hit it down to mid wicket for four. Score moves to 105 for five. So it's end of the over, end of the twelfth over. Got the umpire is timely switching over. Max Dyer and um, Mark Ebanks and the new bowler will be Dennis Durand. So while we do have some dark clouds overhead, we're still keeping our fingers crossed we don't um, pick up any rain. That was a good little shot by Lesman for a single, fielded by Prianta. Return to Joey Pierre, then back to Dennis Duran, the bowler. As you can hear the vocal on the field, that's Ken Wright, who's the captain. He had made 125 earlier on today in the total in a total of um, 214 made by Florida Lions. Got you. It could be out caught. No, it's not. It's just one bounce. Um, that should be a catch by Ken Wright. And I could repeat that. A player of his caliber he should have moved in to pick up that catch, but eventually that one plays a third man. Prianta who is chasing it. I'm not sure if he will get it. No, it's in the fence for four. Okay. So it will be Doran to continue. Wow, that one was played square of the wicket on the leg side for four. It beats O'Neill Walker. Rock up in the fence for four. And as I've been saying before, when the batsmen start to Let's 
score is 118 for five. So it's the end of um, Durant over. And it seems like it's uh, Mark Simpson who will be. So while Florida Lions seems like they ease off the of the gas, seems like veterans decide that um, it's their time to step on the gas. That was three fours in a row.
So when the sun that um Lesman's fifty. So that ball I just went over the fence for six. They are trying to get uh, another ball. should be four down the leg side off the gloves for four Boat Elliot. That one was went between pad and the stumps, beat the keeper, went down to third man fielded by Rain's boot. It picks up two.
there's some hickey to bowl. Outside, outside. 
Score is just about um, 191. Chasing for chasing 214. And Lesman is on fire at the moment. Catch him, somebody! Somebody catch him! Somebody catch him! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Score is 192. No, 193. <laughs> 193 for 5. Should have um, two overs to go. While it's not official. It should be 12 balls from... How much over left? Two? Three. I was confirmed that three overs. This is the 18th over. The ball in back and right. That one was hit hard in the covers. Picks up a single. Score is now 194. We got um And that could be another six, yes, over the fence for six. Lesman should be approaching his um, hundred. Score reach um, 200, 201 for five. Another single there by um, Lesman. Should be very close to his 100 while all the score need um, just about 13. The overall Florida, Florida Lions. Mr. Douglas, how you doing? Tariq. Mr. Hassan.
swing and a miss. And that should be the end of the 18th over with two overs to go. So 12 runs, 13 balls. Very much looked in the favor of um, veterans. St. Croix veterans. Well, the skipper Ken Wright is um, tweaking the field. Should be two overs to go. Two overs. So they were just um calculating to see one more over after this 12 balls swing and a miss there by Lesman get a leg by So it's Thomas. That could be a no ball. And it could go on for four. It's running away. I think they picks up three with the no ball, makes it four. Uh, it's a free hit. Mr. Bali, how you doing? Vidash, thanks for watching. We're here at um, the Ladder Hill Sports Park. Cricket Festival, hosted by South Florida Lions. They had to first strike and make 214. That was a good ball there by Thomas. St. Croix Lions should be looking to make maybe about six. St. Croix veterans. Score is 207, so they need eight more runs for victory. Thomas to Lesman. Plays that one off the pad. It's well fielded. It picks up two. That has beat the fielder, went in the fence for four. Just a scoring shot 
or just a boundary I should say um, veterans need to secure the victory and that could be that could be it that was a good win for veterans St. Croix veterans who spearheaded by our own Lesman Alderman Lesman well, that's the first game they played for today should have a game coming up in the next um, 15 minutes so we should be back in about 15 minutes stay tuned my friends a victory for St. Croix veterans overall the total made by South Florida Lions who made 214 with 125 from Ken Wright 52 from Joey Peer. I will get you the score in a few minutes for um, Lesman. Should be very close to 100. I'll get you some scores in just a few, the official score in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We should be back in a short while. 